Kevin Hart went in on Joe Budden for firing his friends and coworkers and people who helped build his brand over the last few years. And first, before I play the audio, they've had a lot of beef in the past when Kevin Hart was caught cheating. Joe Budden had a lot of harsh words for him. So finally, Kevin Hart feels like, well, I can get my revenge. So, so let's take a listen to what Kevin Hart had to say about Joe Budden. One of my biggest haters. One of one of the Naeem? people that just Naeem? yeah. Oh no, Wayne, no. which one? Maybe a little bigger than Naeem. Maybe a little bigger than Naeem. Wayne. When it comes to hate and just hate negativity. Yeah, Joe Budden. Joe. One of my biggest haters when it comes to negativity is Joe Budden. Budden is. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is this is the juicy shit you've been waiting you know, for. <laughs> listen, it, this here is personal. This no, it's not personal. It's just it's in no, the this, land of this is, yeah. makes no fucking sense to me. I got to talk about it. Joe Biden has been very vocal in the media and the press about his dealings with his podcast and relationship with those that have supported his podcast. They're well, there's been a lot of on-air tension on his show about uh, his coworkers, Rory and Maul. And yeah, he literally fired them on air a few days ago. On air, he said, you're fired, you're done. And so yeah, Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart is gonna use this as an opportunity to um, show that maybe Joe Budden as a few flaws. There has been a major push for ownership, a major push for control. Joe Budden has been very vocal about this fight for some years now. For some years now. Even to the point to where he's he severed certain relationships and moved and jumped ships a couple times because they didn't respect him or his brand at the level that he felt it should be respected at. So Joe Budden um, had some interesting negotiations with Complex because he felt um, he felt that he deserved more money. He felt that he had the bargaining power to deserve more money. When his co when when his co-host let's, let's call him that instead of workers when when his co-host decided to step away for a little while, he replaced them and discovered that they didn't have any bargaining power <laughs> that really they did they weren't bringing anything to the table so why keep them on the only the only the only thing that's really harsh about that is they've spent years helping him build his brand and they're his friends but you know it was business it wasn't personal and uh he fired him so In doing so, Joe finally made a move that gave him complete control and ownership. And after doing that, he let his fans know. He let his fans know that him and his partners and his podcast finally got the respect they deserve. Yeah. It's interesting because he was trying to have a multi-million dollar deal with Spotify for a while. Uh, they were renegotiating a contract and So it's come to light that Joe Budden did not want to have any sort of give any sort of ownership to his co-host Rory and Maul. So even though they had um, they had a profit percentage in the company, they had no equity in the company. And to to, to imagine those guys being co-hosts on that on his show for years, and e even when big money is starting to come in. Uh, one of your co-hosts, Joe Budden, says, "Not, nah, I mean, we're, we're, I'm never going to give you ownership of the company. You guys are just to help. Like, man, you know, it's kind, it's kind of brutal. It's brutal. It, it, it's honestly brutal. And I'm not, I don't, I'm not even a guy who like watches the Joe Budden podcast religiously. I mean, I have watched it from time to time, but just hearing how Joe Budden was treated as friends, I mean, wow, man, it, it is pretty, it is pretty intense. Emphasis on the word they, they." They, we, us. What well, word on the street is, is that his partners 
started to ask questions about the deal that Joe made and wanted to ask questions about the pay and just an understanding. These and they wanted to know how much revenue the show was bringing in because they were uh, profit participants. So they, they didn't earn a salary. They earned a, a percentage of whatever profit the show made. So they wanted to see the accounting. Every time they asked for the accounting, Joe Budden would blow up. He would get angry. He would say, how dare you challenge the numbers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so, yeah. These partners are Rory and Mal, or Maul. I think his name is Maul. Maul. They just wanted to know where the money was going. What's the funnel? Talk to us, Joe. Talk to us. Let us know what's going on. This, of course, sent Joe over the roof. Joe didn't like it. Wait, why? This is one part of the story that, that any defender of Joe Budden has to kind of account for. Why would ask, uh, why would a request to see numbers make you super angry? You're accusing me of stealing, you're accusing No, no, we're not. We just literally want to see. I mean, if there's no problem, why wouldn't you let us see? So that's one part of the story that is very weird. Joe said they got some fucking nerve. They're spoiled. They're spoiled. Asking me about what I own. Fuck that. You guys don't need to know shit. This caused a major uproar. Of course, these two gentlemen decided to take a stance. Fuck that, Joe. You don't tell us what's going on. Then we're not coming back. Well, fuck y'all. Y'all fired, Joe says. <laughs> podcast now is no more. That's crazy. That's crazy. Wait. It's podcast. That's crazy. They canceled the whole no thing? with Rory and Maul. His response to them... No, he did not cancel the whole thing. The podcast is not over. Rory and Maul are fighting. He's just going to replace them with anybody. He doesn't care. That's how little he respected his co-host for years, that he feels like he can just replace them with anybody. So, okay, we'll see. It was, it was that I am your boss. If you have to audit me, you don't need to be here. Now, wait, 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 wait. Is the pod, the podcast is not moving forward, brother? No, I'm about to give you that's, that's not true, Kat. No, I'm saying the podcast with Rory and Maul attached to it is no more. Joe Button still has his podcast. Okay, yeah, he's he's fired the one on air, yeah, and then the other one he said he he's allowing him to come yeah, back. Right. So the podcast is still. By the way, is that what Spank is? New co-host <laughs> that if they decided to come would be stepping into not only a toxic work environment. For real. A work environment where you get no respect at all from the person that employs you. A work environment that it's a dead end job. I mean, it's, it's a dead end. You have no respect. You're just some dude talking. So I don't know who would take that job. I mean, you would have to have like pretty low self-esteem or maybe you just want to like kind of intern in the industry or something like that. I mean before you went off and got your own podcast or something? Because I, I don't know who would sit next to Joe Button and be able to just look him in the eye and have a real conversation with him anymore. I, I, I don't know. The proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the example that you just saw. Here's the question of the day. How does it make sense to you to have such strong actions against the people that were with you as you built the brand Man, I don't know. that you now stand on and demand respect for. I don't know. This brand that has allowed you to not only succeed and have success That's has tough. been accompanied by your partners. Work for hires maybe, but they're your partners. I got something to say. Please. So while I agree with you, um, we never ask you what you got. And if we did, we know you wouldn't fire us, but would you feel some type of way about that? So no, which is why I, so if, if you randomly go up to your boss, I open up the dialogue. Oh. If you randomly go up to your boss and say, well, how much money do you make? I want to see your tax returns or something. Of course the boss can get angry, but if you make a percentage of the profits from the company, and you need to know how much the company made. So what, what, what are you supposed to do? Just, just, just take the company's word for it. Friend, no friend, no matter what kind of business you're in, 
You don't just take the guy's word. I mean, let me see the books. The only thing Joe Budden showed those guys was an Excel spreadsheet. That's it. That's that, that's not how that's not the way things are done when they had a professional accounting firm handling the business. So this is totally unrelated. So of course, if those guys go to Kevin Hart and say, "Hey, yo, Kevin, how much money do you got?" Kevin Hart gets his money from all over the place. That's a totally different thing. If they say, "How much does this podcast make so that we can make sure our percentage is correct?" There should be no issues there. There should be no argument, no raised voices, uh, no long discussion. It should be like, okay, I'm going to have my secretary get right on that. That's it. All the time. You guys don't ask because you're always in the know. Mm. Like there's never, there's never a dark, a dark circle. Or and, and that's true too. Can you imagine Rory and Maul never having this conversation with Joe Button? As much as they kick it off and on the set, you know, they know each other for years. You guys never sit down and just be like, hey, man, look, I need to see the books because, you know, I mean, how do, how do I know what I'm getting paid is correct? This, this conversation never comes up. It's weird. Or a door that can't be open. Like, I think the one thing that we've done very well, and I'll say this on air, you know, I'll give this information for other people that are doing things with their friends, with their brothers, whomever in business, a lot of these relationships get messed up when the relationship in business kind of cross lines. And the one thing that I've always done to try to prevent that to the best of my ability, and I think I've done a great job so far, is give the information. Give the information because if Rory and Maul were not friends with Joe Biden, they would ask him, Hey, listen, let us see the books. And I bet you Joe Budden would have just shown them the books. But because they're his friends, he thinks, oh, it's an insult to my personal character for you to have to see how much money the show brings in. You, you should just trust me off the rip. By the way, as though Joe Budden would ever trust those guys. You know how I know Joe Budden doesn't trust them? Because he refused to give them any ownership of the company. If he really trusted and believed his friends, they would have been co-owners of the company. So. Give the information, give the ins and outs so there's understanding. And if there are questions, we table them as partners, as a group. Because no matter what, the machine Kevin is Hart. our machine. Kevin Hart's right about this. Regardless of my name or not, it's our machine, and I would never Ours. make my guys feel as if it wasn't. So for the life of me, this isn't a mm -hmm. this isn't mm -hmm. a petty moment. This is a real like this is a real vocal moment that I'm just taking the opportunity to make sure I say. I have witnessed this man be vocal about so much on behalf of me, my career, my moves, and everything. I don't care. I shut up. I don't give a fuck. This is what it is. You guys know I'm no stranger to negativity. I don't care about that. But I actually was a supporter of the progression of him and his podcast. From afar. I'm a fan of your growth. I'm a fan of what you're doing and the conversation behind it. Cap, he's lying. Kevin Hart was not a fan of Joe Budden's podcast. He didn't even know. He called him Mal and said him all. Mal means bad in Latin, by the way. Called a Mal instead of Maul. I mean, no, he's not a fan of Joe Budden. He never wished Joe Budden success. He was not. He was not secretly proud of Joe Budden. That's not true. This is a bias. So everything he says is coming from a certain bias. He he doesn't like Joe Budden. No, no, no. But but everything else was true. Just because your words are biased, don't mean they're a lie. I mean, they're wrong. Right now, he's lying. Though. No, he wasn't a fan. That's dope. Yo, he's not doing business here. He wants to own it. He wants control. It's dope. Maybe, but nah. To he, see he you publicly shit on the guys that was with you, that's an example of poor leadership. It is. That's an example of why you are where you are. Well, it's not just poor leadership. Poor leadership is an interesting word. He's Because he's not a leader at all. They were co-hosts, and they...
They had co-responsibilities. They called the show the Joe Button Podcast, but it was really a group podcast. So it wasn't his responsibility to, to be a leader. But it was his responsibility to be professional. It was his, I think, he doesn't think so. But it he, he did kind of owe it to them to just handle his res- contractual responsibilities, which according to them included accounting. Now, he didn't owe them friendship, but he said they were friends. As a friend, I, w- I would expect a certain level of character. So I don't think this was a leadership, uh, uh, anything that shows Joe Budden's leadership, but it definitely says something about his character. And his character has been shown lacking in this particular respect. That even though he's rich, and even though he's wealthy, he would throw his own friends under the bus to get a little bit more money. A lot of people would. A lot of humans would. But in my, in, in my sense of morality, it shows a little bit of a character defect. This is why. Here's the answer. Point blank. You want to be by yourself. You want to be King Dingling. There, there it is. Oh. Yep. You can't do that. You can't do that. Wealth should be shared, not owned. Absolutely. Facts. So this is a shout out, man, to Rory and Maul. You guys were dope as fuck at that job. Once again, I was a fan of the fucking podcast. He wasn't a fan of the podcast. Sad day to see this shit end when you guys (laughs) were on your way to what seemed to be higher levels of success. He's not really sad. I don't sit up here and promote the negativity. Wish there was a world where you could work it out. But you need a good fucking leader that understands it's not just him. Well, Rory and Maude didn't need a good leader. What they needed to do from the beginning was have something of their own. Branch out. I don't know if in their contracts they weren't allowed to have a separate entity. But now that that they've been terminated anyway, hopefully they're allowed to make a new podcast. Joe Budden did threaten to sue them. So I don't know what was in the original contract. But their biggest mistake was not needing a better better leadership from Joe Budden. They needed better protections for themselves in their contract, in making content that they own, having intellectual property rights in their own property. And it's ironic that Rory and Maul always criticize other people for making bad business decisions when They didn't protect themselves illegally. I don't think Joe has that. Damn. Hopefully they didn't just buy some shit. (laughs) Jesus. You know, that stuff. You got to get that stuff back. That's that's fucked up, man. Oh, nah, you say if they got stuff. Yeah, they. It's going to be bad. Bad news is they just got some new stuff. Can't keep no new stuff. Can't keep no stuff. I'm glad you brought this up, though, Kev. Uh, you know, talking about sharing the wealth and all of those things. I well, actually... let's keep it on oh, track no, 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 no. before we get into it. No, but before we get into it, let's just stay on track. <laughs> I think it's important to stay on track, you know. Uh, I don't, I also don't like the, the firing on air. I don't like the firing on air. I, I, wait, I like it because it's great content. So it's great for Joe Budden in, in, in a certain way. And by the way, all of this is giving the Joe Budden podcast way more publicity than it had before. So for all I know, him firing Rory and Maul, this all could be fake and they could come back to work next week. This could all just be one big publicity stunt. With that being said, it's good for him. It's going to make him more money, but it shows a character defect that for a little more money, he's willing to embarrass humiliate and belittle his own friends that have been st- that stuck with him from years. He knew Maul back when Joe Budden didn't didn't wasn't really even nobody. Maul Maul knew Joe Budden. That you would throw your friend and humiliate him in public. 
so that you can get a little bit more money when you're already rich shows a character defect. And if I was Rory and Maul, there would be no way to heal this. Because this is betrayal. It is. It's betrayal. Bo. Well, it's a podcast, so it wasn't live, right? I mean... No, no, he was on air. He he went on on a little rant and basically told him that because he wasn't there, he was in breach, and then he was fired as of that moment. There's a chair there. There's an empty chair. He pointed to the chair. He was talking to an empty Mm. chair. Crazy, I mean, what is that? Could there have been some other issues behind the scenes that we didn't know about? If there were, do you do that on air? We've had tons of issues off scene. Sometimes we almost went in the direction of too far on radio, caught ourselves, stopped ourselves. Mm-hmm. The same for this. We don't do this. We'll talk about it off. Like, what, what part of the game is that? I don't understand that. Yeah, I don't do like it. Do they share a lot on the radio? Though? I, I've never listened to his podcast, but do they like air out they a lot of their own business on the podcast? They normally do. But then again, what they normally do on a broadcast has nothing to do with what should be done, especially not when it comes to a permanent firing or termination of somebody. You know, that's a humiliation. I, I, not to say that this would happen, but being publicly humiliated on air for a guy like Rory and or Maul to have to take down your Instagram page to feeling like, like you might be like a social pariah on the internet for a while. Given ammunition to DJ academics. What if he goes and harms himself or something now? And I'm not saying he would do it, but there are consequences to every action that social Stigma that the the social stigma that could come with an on air firing can have long term repercussions to a person's physical and mental well being, also. And I just don't think that that's something that you do to a friend. I don't think that that is something that you do to a friend, even even an associate. I don't even think you should do that to a stranger. Like, even if they hadn't known each other, even if they were just cool, even if the dude was like uh, 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 an assistant. I don't think that you should fire your personal assistant on air, let alone your friend and co-host. Think about it. So then Dude, they have a really good podcast, man. Okay. They have a really good podcast. They got great chemistry. They were good. I can't even front. They were fucking good. Like I don't I don't have anything negative that I can say about the flow of their podcast, the chemistry. Uh, the separation of voices. It was a good fucking podcast. Maybe. I mean, you probably haven't heard much, though. So. It's just fucked up for it to <laughs> come to an end that way. That's what I would say. That's one of the ones that I think that you'll look back at and that you'll go, damn, I, I, may, have, I may have played this hand a little incorrectly. I may have done too much. That's what I think. I don't think Joe Budden is going to look at it that way because I think Joe Budden was ready to move on because there's a big elephant in the room surrounding DJ academics and the fact that Rory and Maul went to DJ academics house, basically threatened him by putting a card in the mailbox as a threat. Like I know where you live. And Joe Budden wants to work with DJ Academics again and wants to make a lot more money with DJ Academics than he probably will would having Rory and Maul around. So there's a big part of this story that no one wants to talk about. And that is that Rory and Maul, he probably had to get rid of Rory and Maul to work with DJ Academics in the future. Probably. So there's a big elephant in the room about DJ Academics involvement in all of this. So will Joe Budden regret this? I don't think he will. Because I think his bot podcast will be okay. I think that he's still rich at the end of the day. It's a little embarrassing. The only way that this would come back to bite him is if the fans turn on him. If, if the viewers who 
liked Rory and Maul, saw Joe Budden's poor character here, and decided to turn against him. But that is very unlikely to happen because Americans don't care about character anymore. I don't know if we ever have, but we don't. No, no one cares about character. As a matter of fact, the lower your character, the more people tend to like you nowadays. This this could this is this might actually do, do nothing but help Joe Budden because it gets some more publicity. But I will say this: I will never watch another Joe Joe Budden podcast again. Ever. I'll never click on anything involving Joe Budden again. Not for his benefit. And not because I don't like Joe Button or anything like that. But I'm I'm the type of guy that I don't want to support a guy who voluntarily shows a lack of character and that lack of character benefits him. I don't want to be a part of it. And that's the only way Joe Button would ever learn or it would come back to bite him in the butt. And if Rory and Maul, if they start their own podcast, if they do their own thing, I will support them. I'll subscribe. I'll do whatever. I'll, I'll do whatever I need to do to support them. Because I am a guy that likes the lower guy like that. They do have a little bit of talent, and though they'd have more talent if they um, if they did their own thing. And, and that's where I am. But hey, it's just my opinion, you know. But once again, we are in this, my this world. I'm not telling nobody like, else to do that. Just to me. know everything, and mm-hmm. so some people go like, you know, I'm an open book, so I'm gonna share everything with with the entire world. So you share that you have some issues with your your, your co-host, then me firing them on air makes total sense because you're sharing everything. Now I don't know, you know, that how their their relationship works, but I, I do think that's a little too much to fire somebody unless they just get up and go, I'm fuck this, I'm out. But well, I doubt that the questions came up from Rory and Maul on air. Mm-hmm. I huh. doubt that that came up on air. Totally. That is totally true. Well, it's not totally true. It's partially true. Some of the problems did come up on air. But it took till after they were fired to reveal the whole details of everything. So yeah, the problems didn't come out on air. So why did the firing come out on air? Great point. Right? Like that's, that's different. Great point. It's different, man. I don't know. I don't like it. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate, man. Very fucking unfortunate. Uh, Like, comment, share, subscribe. I mean, tell me, uh, tell me, tell me your thoughts below. What do you think? Do you think Kevin Hart is right? Do you think Joe Budden is right? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, especially if you think I'm wrong. Please leave a comment below. Until next time.